Today, federal agents raided the home and office of President Trump's personal attorney. Michael Cohen is the lawyer who paid an adult film actress hush money to keep secret her account of an affair with Mr. Trump. Stormy Daniels says the alleged affair happened back in 2006. The payment was made to her days before the 2016 election. Cohen's attorney confirmed the raids and called them inappropriate and unnecessary. The no-knock raids by FBI agents were the result of a referral by special counsel Robert Mueller to the U.S. attorney in New York. We have Fox team coverage on this breaking news. John Roberts is at the White House with the administration reaction. We start off, though, with Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge here in the Bureau. Good evening, Catherine. Well, thank you, Rhett. We had confirmation late today from Michael Cohen's attorney that there were three raids that were executed on behalf of the U.S. Attorney's Office in New York City. As you mentioned, the law office as well as the family home and and a hotel room where the family is staying temporarily while some renovations are happening at their apartment. We also received a statement late today from his attorney that reads in part, the decision by the U.S. Attorney's Office in New York to conduct their investigation using search warrants is completely inappropriate and unnecessary. It resulted in the unnecessary seizure of protected attorney-client communications. Also late today, we received a statement from Stormy Daniels attorney, Michael Avenetti, and it reads in part, as I predicted last week on CNN and MSNBC, Mr. Cohen has been placed in the crosshairs by Mr. Trump. He has been set up to take the fall. An enormous amount of misplaced faith has been placed on his shoulders, and I do not believe he has the metal to withstand it. If I am correct, this could end very badly for Mr. Trump as well as others. Also late today, we spoke with a source close to the president's legal team who described the raise to us as a big deal, very aggressive, and an effort by the special counsel Robert Mueller's office to put the squeeze on the president, saying the likelihood now of... Um, an, an interview session, a question and answer session between the president and Mr. Mueller, uh, he said, is uh, at least very remote for the time being, Brett. Catherine, quickly, mm -hmm. it, it seems like there are a couple of things that, that potentially are happening here. One, that they found something that is leading them in this Russia investigation to some money tie or something that's right. all in Mueller's investigation. But two, that he found something else and is passing it on to the U.S. attorney in Manhattan. Uh, if you look at the the law the statute if you determine that additional jurisdiction is necessary in order to fully investigate and resolve matters that assigned or investigate new matters that come to light in the course of your investigation you should follow the procedures set forth uh, that could be a possibility too like passing it on right you're right on top of the central point Brett it's whether this is ultimately gonna rem remain part of the special counsel investigation and there is some kind of tie to Russia and Robert Mueller has received the authorities or extended the authorities from the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein to pursue this line of investigation, or whether he's uncovered evidence he believes is part of a separate criminal matter which will be pursued by the U.S. Attorney's Office. But the other big headline today is, according to Michael Cohen's attorney, they took attorney-client privileged information, and you have to have a clean team go through that evidence. You can either have a judge or FBI agents, but I was told there's a high level of distrust because Cohen was already cooperating and to have the FBI come in might be just a bridge too far for the Trump legal team, Brett. Well, let's uh, hear from the Trump administration what they're saying at this hour. Joining us from the North Lawn, Chief White House Correspondent John Roberts uh, with the breaking news. Good evening, John. Uh, Brett, good evening to you. The White House itself not saying a whole lot about these developments other than the president has been watching the news very closely, but sources close to the investigation are telling Fox News a whole lot. First of all, they have no clue what this is all about. They know that the FBI sees tax records from Michael Cohen at his home, his office, and his hotel room. Uh, they don't know if that means that this is related to some sort of real estate transaction. Remember, Cohen was trying to put together a big deal in Moscow, one that he says uh, fell apart not long after he tried to put it together. There was also the fact that these records uh, related to the Stormy Daniels payment uh, were seized. Was this part of an FEC investigation that the U.S. attorney referred to the U.S. attorney, that rather the special counsel referred to the U.S. Uh, attorney for the Southern District of New York, who then got the FBI involved? But there is a sense here, uh, referring to my notes here, that this investigation by Robert Mueller is out of control that they believe that this raiding of Michael Cohen's office and the seizing of documents that were confidential and were subject to attorney-client privilege is a, quote, demonstration of bad faith. And they say that it underscores the importance 
that the president not give an interview to Robert Mueller. So this could be a, a big change here. The, the president's outside legal team was looking at narrowly defining a set of parameters for the president to sit down with Robert Mueller. Now it looks as though that may be going away. According to one source that I talked with, Brett, they said, what in the name of God is Mueller doing? And then there was a belief here that Mueller may be trying to take down the president. So while we're not hearing a lot from the White House, uh, we are hearing from people who are familiar with this investigation that they think that Mueller crossed a very big line today and that as a result of that, the president should not sit down with him. Brett? Okay, John, stand by if you would.